For this week's playoff edition of Saints in Review, we've got riveting playoff action. This past Saturday, I had the privilege of being able to call the Women's Soccer GNAC Tournament quarterfinal against Albertus Magnus. So for these highlights, I'll let the video speak for itself. Caitlin DeShane will be the one making the free kick. Nice play towards the net, and it's headed in! It is headed in, and I believe it was Megan McMillan with the excellent goal. Albertus with a look, and kind of lost in the, the garbage there. A nice kick in Krugnally there with a huge save. Rachel Prevost. Prevost trying to get it back here. Kicks it forward, and that one sneaks in! How is that for a first and second impression? Emmanuel up 2-0 early on. It's Sidney Allen with the kick. Berlin tried to make a play on the ball, but so many blue jerseys. And what a kick there! Immediately by Paige White! Now Albertus looking to create something. And now in the open field, Albertus might have a look. Krugnally's going to have to step up. She scoops it up and then off that bounce off her hands. Keeps control of it. And that one's loose. Great look, and it breaks through. Megan McMillan with the hat trick. Propelled by McMillan's hat trick, the Saints won 5-2. This Tuesday, they face off against St. Joseph's College in Standish, Maine. And while we're on the topic of women's soccer playoff triumphs, here's our interview with Megan McMillan after the game. All right, we're here after the game, and the Saints just had a huge win against Albertus Magnus. I'm here with Megan McMillan. Now, Megan, you just had a hat trick. Tell me about what that feeling was like for you when you scored that third goal. Uh, it's definitely an amazing feeling. It's only my third game back from a back injury, so scoring those three goals is really uh, something I'm going to remember for a while. Now, obviously coming into this game, there's the possibility that this will be the last time you guys play on Roberto Clemente Field this season. What did it mean to you, and especially you know for the seniors, what did that mean to you to be able to have that opportunity, and, and what was your mindset like going into that? Uh, playing this game, I just really want to make it for the seniors because this may or may not be their last game, and I really want to play for them and the whole team, and I did my best that I can. For this week's edition of Saints on the Road, we take you to St. Joseph's College. Now here's some more playoff action. Men's soccer. Watch Campbell Sheely on the penalty kick. Tied the game. Quite the admirable effort from the Saints. Unfortunately, they did fall in this one 2-1. Two to one. Coincidentally, our cross-country teams also traveled to Standish, Maine for a GNAC championship competition. The women's team placed 5th out of 10, led by 9th place finisher Molly Winship and 14th place finisher Hannah Fitzpatrick with times of 25 minutes 13 seconds and 25 minutes 49 seconds respectively. Men's team finished 5th out of 9, paced by 8th place finisher Eric Brobst and 9th place finisher Kyle Hodge with times of 27 minutes 47 seconds and 27 minutes 59 seconds respectively. Now, over the past week, plenty of playoff drama and entertainment from our fall sports teams. And as winter sports team season approaches, we remember one thing. Saints don't stop. So for GoECSaints.com, I'm Alex Ships.